Understanding the difference in terminology in air handling units between blow through and draw through units. A blow through unit is basically a unit with your fan blowing air through a coil, a cooling coil. You have pros and cons with the blow through unit. The pro with the blow through unit is you don't have to anticipate any additional fan heat after the coil. So, no added fan heat is a good pro. The problem with utilizing blow throughs is you have to make your air handling units longer so that you don't get on uniform air. If your units are this short, your air is going to get sucked in by your fan and only hit a portion of the coil, which means you're not going to get all of the capacity out of your coil. Um, so that could be a con. You either have longer units and uneven airflow. Or, or uneven airflow at your coil. A draw through is the opposite of a blow through. It, you have your coil prior to your fan, so it draws through air into your coil and then blows it out into your system. Pros with this setup is you have even air distribution. at your coil. So you know that your coil will see the entirety of the air before it goes into your fan and into your system. The cons of this setup, so you can have shorter units, so that's another pro. Shorter units. However, the cons with this setup is now you have your cooled air hitting a fan and at that fan you're going to have some added heat we typically assume about a three degrees, a three degrees rise. Um, so that is not really efficient because you're cooling the air and then you're reheating it at a fan. So cons here, it's going to be your added fan heat. It's not very efficient. And that is the difference between your blow through and draw through terminology and why you would choose one or the other. Thanks.